Hello everybody! So, happy weekend. I'm so glad it's the weekend. I actually got called out from work today and I was like super excited about it and I'm able to spend the, the, some time with my boyfriend and guess what? He left and went to hang out with his friends. So, before that, anyway, he took me out to lunch and we went to Ollie's as you can see above. Now, XOXO Amanda Kisses had did a video that she found some YSL stuff. Yeah, you heard right. YSL stuff at Ollie's Outlet. Now, Ollie's is a, I'll show you. Let's see. It's like a little outlet store. Um, they pretty much send stuff there that's not selling at certain stores. So, the funny thing is, some of the stuff that I got, I found online anyway for sale. So, I'll start out showing you. I was only able to find one YSL thing. There was another YSL thing I found. It was like, you know how the um, Touche Clock comes in the clicky pen? This was like a radiant lip stuffer, whatever. It was in like the clicky thing with the brush. It was like a berry color. I really wanted it. It was $1.99. Yeah. $1.99. But some fucktard, excuse my language, had to go and freaking use it. So I had it in my, in my little basket. And then before we left, I was like, let me open these to make sure that, because this Ollie's was filthy. When I mean filthy, it was disgusting. I don't even know how people can leave their stores like that. It was just so gross. And I understand it's an outlet store, but come on, people. You know? So anyway, I opened it up just to make sure. And somebody had, you know, put some of this stuff out. Who knows if they put it on their lips or whatever. But I wasn't chanting it. I mean, I don't think I could have sanitized it. Or maybe I could have. I don't know. To, to me, it was, just wasn't worth it. I don't know. I don't want to get any disease. God only knows what the people around here. No offense or anything if anybody lives around here. So I was able to pick up four things. One thing I don't know what it, what company it's from at all, but it's really nice. So I'll start out with the YSL thing that I got, like I was saying. It's like legit. I'm going to change the setting here. It's legit. You can see. Yves Saint Laurent. It's an ombre solo double effect. And it says four there and blah, blah, blah. So the box is like all mangled. But I wanted to keep it to show you guys that it's like legit and all that. $1.99. My people. $1.99. So that's what the outside looks like. It's all like shiny gold. You can see my camera there. And on the back, so you can see that it's legit ombre solo it doesn't wait what color is it it did say here it says brun mink brown so that's the color it's a really pretty color <laughs> check this out here's the little thing that comes with it like the eyeshadow applicator i noticed on the carton that it does this look at that it like slides in and out what is the difference like yeah okay i can hold it from here to use it or whatever but it doesn't give it much more length I saw on the inside of the carton here, I was like, that's really weird. <laughs> Looks like a little bullet there. Anywho, <laughs> I'm sure you aren't interested in that stupid kind of crap. But that is the eyeshadow. So there's a little mirror there. Little mirror. It's quite cute. Look at me, me, me. All right. So that is the eyeshadow. I'm trying to cover up the mirror so you're not getting that shadow or anything. So I'll swatch it, and it feels like silk. Not, I'm not even joking. Like I don't have any YSL eyeshadows or anything, but this feels like pure silk. So it's like a little bit darker than my skin tone. I can see this being good for like a darker highlight or on the lid with um, Blanc Type on the brow bone because Blanc Type's a little lighter than this. So on my skin, you can't even see it like at all because it's just a tad darker. But this was $1.99, so I figured that was a really good deal. Okie doke. Next thing I got is the one that I said that I'm not sure who makes it. All it is is it was 99 cents. So if anybody has this and knows what brand this is, I'd really appreciate it. I think it's some, like, mineral company, if I'm correct. Um, I looked up, it says... Kalal Hayden Distribution Company in Denver, Colorado, and like some mineral company was coming up. Here, look at my eyeliner today. I used like that um, Kat Von D one I got. 
and I kind of like it. It's just a little toned down, but anyway. So here's the concealer. It's in cool, so that's good for my skin because I'm cool toned. So this one is a little darker and this one's a little lighter. I'll swatch both of them for you. Luckily, this was not opened or anything. Any marks that you see on it were from me. So you can't really tell the difference between light and dark. This one's the dark one, which will be really good for the under eyes because it's a little bit more peachy toned. And then this one I used earlier just for like spot coverage on my chin. So they're really creamy. They're not dry. They feel really moisturizing. They feel really, really, really good. So I'm thinking that it's like, look at that. That it's a higher end company, whoever made it, and blend it out. Like, look at the coverage that that gives. There's a, um, a mole right here, and it, not a mole, like a birthmark, beauty mark. It covered it so well with just one swipe of it. So this was a dollar, uh, nine, 99 cents. Really good deal. Other two things I got. This is freaking amazing. I was amazed. So I'll save the best for last. This is Paula Dorf. I'm not sure if you guys are familiar with her. She's out of New York. Um, she has her own makeup line. She's a makeup artist with her own makeup line. That's becoming more and more popular now. Um, but this is called an eye color glimmer. And the color is in fudge. So it looks like this on the outside. Paula Dorf. And then it says become your own makeup artist. And then on the back fudge blah 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 so it's just in a, a screw off pot um and it looks like this it's a shiny like coppery brown fudgy color which it looks like this swatched very pretty and i will put it on my skin and you can see how pretty it is and this is just with one little swipe so it's quite pigmented um it just looks like a coppery color really it's really pretty when the light hits it this would be great all over the lid um, just lightly and I really like this this retails for $21 on her website not they don't have this a color anymore so I guess this was a discontinued color but the rest of them retail for $21 so I really like this and it has a lot of product in it there's three grams of product so that's gonna last a long time see when the light hits it how pretty it is there's like copper sparkles in it very pretty good for um, blue eyes definitely and I got bluish greenish eyes I don't know what color my eyes are you tell me what color are they see the yellow that goes through them too I think they're like greenish bluish grayish with yellow in the middle let me know in a comment below last thing I got Paula Dorf it says eye light and this was also a dollar ninety nine, and I love this. I have it on now, underneath my like a little right down in here, and in the corner of my eye. Oh, and if you're wondering, this is that se lapis of luxury or laps of luxury, whatever. And this is what the eye light looks like. It says Polydorf Eye Light. It's one of those clicky pens. You turn the bottom though, not push it. And it has the brush on there. Sorry, it's all messy, but I like pushed out too much. Wasn't paying attention, type of deal. So this is a beautiful, like, highlighting pen, practically, kind of like the Touche Flot. So right there it is, and I'll blend it out a little so that you can see, like, the shimmeriness it gives. See that? Very pretty. It says that you can use it on the face, under the eyes, mixed with concealer, so on and so forth. I really like it, and it says you can use it, like, on the cheekbones and everything. This retails for $25 on her website. I They do still have this if interested, if you want to pay full price. If you do have an Ollie's, go check it out. I just called my other Ollie's in my area, and she checked all over for me, and they don't have any YSL. They did have a Too Faced shadow insurance, like a creaseless cream shadow in a tube, like the shadow insurance. But the color was like this turquoise bluish green. And it's totally not me. I wouldn't use it, so I didn't pick one up. That was also $1.99. That was the only kind they had. Um, I was looking for a mascara by YSL. They didn't have any. Um, if I pass another Ollie's, I'm definitely going to stop at one. But I'm happy with my purchases. Like, literally, everything I got, I like. And I paid two, four, six, seven dollars for all of this when two of these would have cost forty dollars, forty six dollars, these two, if I bought them regularly. And then this, I don't know how much the YSL shadows are. This is a single one, so I have no idea. But this is the silkiest shadow I've ever felt. Very nice. So, go check out your Ollie's. I figured I'd let you guys know, just in case you have an Ollie's, you know, surrounding you. 
And if you have any questions about anything I mentioned, leave a comment below, and I'll talk to you all later. Bye, everybody. Have a good night and good weekend.